Good morning, folks. This is undoubtedly one of the calmest stretches of Earth-facing solar activity in a while. It is just the Earth-facing side, as some CMEs have indeed left the far side. Top eruption threat is slinking in behind the coronal hole as a thin plasma filament, but it may have some competition soon. Over at spaceweathernews.com, we see solar flaring is still low, but the sunspot situation looks much changed after some strong development. Where we saw mostly mesospots coming in on the north yesterday, today we see the strongest fields tied to new umbras. Yellow is the solar wind speed, and that's all you need to see, calming and cooling, and our shield is resting peacefully. Coming back to the coronal hole... The four-way planetary alignment kicked off the earthquake watch five days ago, and now it is coming to a close as this southern negative opening gets ready to exit. The unusual location rumbles return on the downslope of the bell-curved uptick with a very rare event in Australia, another slightly above average on the BC coastline. Wonder if their static sensors gave them warning. We also are taking the largest swarm in the Caribbean yet. Top articles today include a flickering brown dwarf who just spilled her secrets. The auroral activity around brown dwarfs indicates that they are more planetary than stellar. Imagine the northern lights on these red and brown monsters, linked below. Also this, ETs have rented out Saturn's moon Tethys as a nursery but left the red crayons out and the little alien kids did what I used to do to the walls in my parents' house. I'm kidding, obviously, but what caused these red arcs? It's a mystery. Tethys is 99% water ice. Yes, water ice. So what are we looking at? Featured content today is in the Deeper Look section. Actually got two looks posted yesterday. Episode 66 is short and meant to make you think, while 65 is more of a kick-back-and-listen kind of deal. And it's our first use of the green screen. As a reminder, in a few days, the price of membership at suspiciousobservers.org goes from 20 bucks a year to 30 but locking in before August keeps that lower price forever. Two systems in the East Pacific are a bit of a concern as they keep passing the power back and forth. We'll keep our eyes on it. Meanwhile, tonight we'll be expecting the convergence line of meeting air masses to settle in the Northeast. It's where we find our precipitable water and our top alerts for tonight. Since Europe is mostly just rain events once more, let's go see the real rain events right now. Those systems in India have caused widespread flooding, and there is little chance for a rapid change. The stronger storm is actually the one to the east. Last but not least, that low in convergence is taking on the west coast of Australia there. Like some weather shares, please. We've got your current conditions, and some shots of our star to close. It's 6 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.